Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm super excited about these because this is the platform I'm using to answer questions from our clients and from people on social media, things I see on Facebook and messages from you guys. So we are gonna talk about confirmation calls. I had somebody talk to me who got frustrated or, or sent me a message. They're frustrated when patients say they never received the confirmation call or email when they know that they did. Um, I also have people who tell me all the time when I'm speaking, they get frustrated when the patients say, oh my gosh, you email me too much, you text me too much about these appointments, okay? We need to talk about this because we're gonna have both sides of patients. We're gonna have the patients who complain that we text too much and we call too much, and we're gonna have the patients say that they never got a phone call or a text message when they know that they did. So how do we handle that? We can't fix that with our patients. We are gonna have some patients who are forgetful, always run late, don't get their voicemail, say that we never called them, that's just the way they run their life. We're also gonna have some patients who maybe are always annoyed by text messages and calls and always have something to complain about. There's just different kinds of people. Now, we could get really frustrated with our patients or we could just take a step back and say, all right, what's our why here? What's our purpose? So let's talk about confirmations, whether it's texting, emailing, calling, whatever, let's just talk about the purpose of a confirmation. When I speak, I ask this all the time, what's the purpose of a confirmation? A confirmation call, text, whatever, email, postcard. And I hear things like, oh, to remind them of their appointment, to make sure that they're coming, to offer great customer service. And not that those answers are wrong, but ultimately what my motto is, is it's butts in the chair. Every, everything we do in the front office is about butts in the chair. Hashtag butts in the chair, okay, remember that. So when I'm making a confirmation call, a text message, an email to get a patient um, about to tell them about their appointment, it's not just to remind them or to make sure they're coming, it's literally to get them to arrive and get their butts in the chair, okay? Now, every patient's different. Some patients, you can tell them their appointments in six months, they write it in their calendar, they're gonna be there, you really don't even have to remind them. Then some patients, you need to put it in their calendar, email, remind them, call them, text them, text them again, text them the morning of, call them and tell them to get out of the car and come into the office, right? Every patient's different. So we need to remember what, or think about what's our purpose. Our purpose is to get the patient to arrive and get their butt in the chair, because if we don't get them in the chair, we can't help them. We can't help them keep their teeth for life. That's ultimately our goal and our purpose. And in the front office, our job is get them in the chair so that our clinical team can help them keep their teeth for life, okay? Now, when it comes to the patients who are on either side, who are complaining about this or complaining about that or saying this or saying that, that's just people, okay? We have all types of people in our practices. We, we deal with everything from the super dental with fearful patients to the ones who love us, who brings a, bring us salsa and cookies when they come visit us. We have all kinds of patients. We need to understand that we're dealing with people, okay? and people have issues and they're coming to the dentist and a lot of times they're afraid of the dentist and maybe they're a little more stressed or a little more harsh with us or a little more, you know, it's in the middle of the day and they're having a bad week or something like that. Our job is to take a deep breath, smile and say, I understand, right? I understand you get, didn't get the message. Let me verify your email. I know that we called you and texted you. Do we have the right cell phone number? We're doing our best to reach you. We're so glad you're here. Or on the other side, when the patient says, you call and text too much, right? Okay, I understand. Had you confirmed your appointment, we wouldn't need to do that so much. And we're just excited that you're here. That's ultimately our goal, okay? We need to take a deep breath when it comes to patients because our job is to get them to arrive. And we have to understand that coming to the dentist is not their favorite place and they have busy lives and, and they are the kind of personalities that they are. And our job is amazing customer service and get them to arrive. So whenever you get patients who are saying they didn't get the message or we messaged too much or whatever, just take a deep breath, smile, thank them for arriving, know that your job ultimately is to get their butt in the chair, confirm how they wanna be messaged in the future, confirm we have the right information, let them know we're doing our best to do everything that's customized for them because that's what we're here for is to make their life better. And then ultimately, in the best possible way, get their butts in the chair because that's how we're gonna best help our patients, okay? So I understand you're gonna have, there's always gonna be the easy to deal with patients, the hard to deal with patients, that's just part of life. Take a deep breath, know what your purpose is, get their butts in the chair, be there to help your patients, understand that this isn't their best, their most um, exciting place to visit during the day, 
and that they have lots going on and that you just want to be there to care for them and take care of them. So I hope that kind of answers that questions. Remember at the end, hashtag butts in the chair. So everything you do, and you'll hear me talk about this a lot, anything we do in the front office, that's ultimately our goal. Because if our patients aren't in the chairs, we can't help them keep their teeth for life. So thanks for the question, guys. I hope you send more, put messages down below, subscribe, because I'm going to keep adding videos. So I want to make sure that you get updated when the new videos come out. And thank you. And remember, hashtag butts in the chair.